Yo guys, it's Sarah Yoda, and today we are back playing some more Grey Heritage Faded Vision. We are at Chapter 3, um, and something to note uh, in this game is when you save on this menu, I rebooted the game, and uh, actually I had to watch the cutscenes. I was able to skip through, you can skip through pretty fast, um, but uh, that's actually something that I should find annoying, but I actually think it's pretty cool that you can sort of get a, a sort of um, recap onto like what was happening if in case you forget because I tend to forget a lot of what I played since the last time because I'll play games like days apart and I'll play other games in between and my mind gets all jambled and I have a terrible memory as it is anyway uh but yeah there's some bandits uh coming after us or or something um but I'm, I'm very interested in this sort of setup um so I need to see where 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 are units at all right so all of our units can uh take play one two three four five six seven eight Wait, are one of them not in? Oh no, okay, they're all in. I saw the max number of units to feel, it said 7 out of 8. I was like, I don't know who wasn't there, um, but everybody should be uh, in. So I guess we, we fight? I don't even know. I guess we don't get to change our starting positions. From what I can... Uh, rearrange unit positions? Oh, okay, it kind of positions it like that, I guess? I don't know, I don't think it matters. Let's just fight and uh, I'll learn as we go. Boss, boss, somebody's breaking in. It's that exile prince from earlier. What did I just say? Didn't I tell you to stop interrupting me? Can I drink a piece around here without being interrupted every five seconds? What do you do now, boss? I'll be here any second. That's the most useless bunch of raiders I've ever seen. We fight. That's what we'll do. Exile hey, Prince, don't make me laugh. This is another piece of trash I have to deal with. But boss... <laughs> I mean, this is very realistic. Uh, so many bosses are just like... <laughs> this is really just like a typical like lazy boss. It's just like, why are the workers doing all the work? Why do I have to do something? It's just like, you're the boss. You're supposed to be do you know, doing all the managing and stuff. Be better. Uh, you better be careful with your words. I've got really sick and tired of you. How about getting his sleep, boss? What? Yeah, if you were a good boss, maybe you would have taken notice of that. Oh, there we are. We're down a little bit uh, uh, lower. Defeat the boss. No problem. Uh, make sure to stop by the shop. Okay, they're quite scarce throughout the campaign. Are they still with plenty of money? Gaining more is difficult. Please be mindful of your funds by the end of the game. Time to blow all of my money right here, right now. Also, non-escape characters allowed, uh, allow two injured units besides Leon. Oh, not escape chapters. Okay. Uh, there's no permadeath here, so you're allowed a few injured units without getting penalized. Okay. So if, like, one character dies, the chapter doesn't end. If two die, like, you know, die, they their the HP goes to zero. The chapter doesn't end. But if three uh, get get killed or get their HP to zero, then it'll, it'll be a game over. Okay. Be sure to check the objectives if you are unclear. All right. Um, let's stop by the shop with somebody that can reach the shop but can't reach uh any of the enemies and also let me look at your thing all right you only have well actually no extra stuff just it will get sent to the uh whatchamacallit all right so shop... what am i attacking hello oh tornado must just have oh a tornado is range 4 to 15. whatever i'm still gonna go to the shop um all right let's see let's see what sort of stuff we have um scimitar Really good. I'm definitely buying another scimitar. That's 100 happening. Um. Ooh, swift axe. Yes. Uh, I do think another. Ooh. Hmm. How much money do we have? I'm gonna buy a bow of light and a swift bow. Okay. Let's buy another ballista for sure. For sure. By Firestorm. Yes. I don't know how how often uh, they will come up. I don't know how many of these things I need. I do think I'm almost out of throwing spears, so I'm going to buy another set of those. Um, I already bought a Swift Axe, right? I'll buy an Australian Sword. I think I bought one of just about everything. I don't think I bought a Battle Axe. Yeah, I'll buy a Battle Axe. Why not? And then that still leaves us with like 20,000. Uh, and then there's a heal staff. I'll, I'll buy a, a heal staff. I think... I'll buy two. I'll buy two. Um, I think we're okay. Right? I'm only worried that, like, what if we run out? We, we'll probably get some more weapons in between. They're few and far between, but they're not... That, this is only chapter three. I'm gonna I'm gonna save the rest of my money for a future, a future time. Alright. That is the plan. Uh, I think what I want to do is bait this guy to come attack me so right here 
We'll put Dustin here, because I think Dustin can generally take hits the best. Uh, Long Spear, yes. We'll have Leon right next to him. And yeah, we're just gonna kind of slowly move up as a as a as a as a group. Uh, I do want to sort of see. So are these these are doors? So I assume we can probably get door keys and go in through the side. So there's a left side, a right side, and then the boss is through this door up here. Okay. So I think the plan is I don't know. We could either split up uh, the group and go like four on one side four on another or i could just go fully one tackle one side one tackle the other side there's also these ballista to work about uh to worry about okay i'm probably just going to keep everybody together and i will probably also have viola use ballista um to kind of hit the ballistas back as well we're definitely gonna need that all right that works. That works. What a great plan that was. All right, so now we can do something similar. I'm going to put uh, Dustin here. That should draw the aggro of that guy. This guy, if I do the same thing over here, I can draw the aggro. Uh, and we'll we'll put Lee. Uh, actually, wait, wait. I can just check. Who has more uh, defense? You have 10. You have 7. So, yeah, Leon, you'll go there. And then, again, we'll just kind of... Move up a little bit. You know, port a little bit. Uh, we can also do something like, yeah, Tornado can reach way out here. I can start doing some chip damage on the ones like surrounding, which would be really, really good. Ooh, I like the Tornado animation. That's pretty sick. The sort of like lightning bolts inside of that, tor the green Tornado. I like that a lot. Big fan. I can also, uh, just keep dancing, and so I can do that again, which is really good. So between oh between tornado and ballista, I actually don't want to use up all my tornado because I could probably use that for the for the ballistas uh, inside the the walls there. But I'm just gonna take out this guy because I can. Uh, so maybe I'm going up right side first. I also want to sort of segment it segment it in a way where I go up one side, you know, then use the save feature. Then I could probably like come through this way, come from the back side, then use the save feature, and then go challenge the boss. So we kind of section it into like three parts, which I like doing. I, I, I like the I like the sort of uh, sectioning off uh, the chapter within itself because you kind of like decide where your chapter markers are within the chapter or like where your little checkpoints are, uh, which is really cool and fun. So I do like that. Dude, Dustin is absolutely the, the best character to uh, take potential hits. Uh, all right. Gerald. Yeah, go ahead this side. You can just use your battle axe. 68% mm, chance to hit. It's not looking great. Only way to get better is to do it, though. Good job. Uh, and then we'll go. We'll go Linda right here. You can just use a broadsword. Yeah, you can just use a broadsword. Ooh, didn't get any of the abilities to, to proc. That's okay. And then we'll go... We'll go... We'll go with Leon, I guess. Goodbye. And now I think everybody starts going over this way. So this guard is asleep. I don't know... I don't know how, how, how sleep works if um we are going to be... If we, if we attack one, you know, is everybody going to wake up? Does it just wake up that one person? I, I don't really know if we're going to be, like, alerting guards or what have you. I'm going to move Flynn up. The only the only way that I use uh, Tornado is if it can actually hit the Ballista at this point. So I'm just going to wait there. I don't think I should be in range of anybody. Uh, oh, this guy's sleeping, so we can't even, like, aggro him or anything. Leon could use healing, I suppose. Sure, we'll do a distant heal. We don't have as many distant heals. And distant heal was not a thing that we could buy in the shop. We could only buy heal staffs. So that is something to keep in mind. Uh, Alright. We'll just go over this way. And we're good. I should actually mount the, the ballista. Oh, the ballista can hit me. Whoops. 
I did not. I did not consider that. Um, that is fine. I think I move up a little bit. Mount the ballista. Okay, I see. I see. Uh, definitely get Leon out of the range. I hope Joseph doesn't die to a ballista. That's defense 10, defense 7. It sh shouldn't, but I don't know. I don't know how to do math in this game. We will... Uh... I think I have to go through the danger zone regardless. Of course, they is like way down here. Okay. Uh, well, f we're just gonna have Flynn tornado that ballista. Oh, we can attack back. Hmm. That might not be as simple as going to attack the ballista. How do we get around that? How do we deal with that? I think we... 32. Okay. We're gonna do this. I missed! Okay, well that is concerning. Uh, I'm gonna use Joseph to heal Flynn. Now Flynn won't die. Uh, and if Flynn didn't die to a ballista, neither will Joseph. And then as long as Leon is just out of that danger, which I think over here is safe, and I can also just use a Cure Leaf, then I'm fine. We use Dustin to wake up this fool. 16, 19... I think we just stick with long spear. Probably wake him up, and he could come attack Leon, but something we gotta do. Okay, so where 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 are the danger ranges? Oh, actually, maybe it's fine. The danger ranges are fine. Oh gosh, no wait, that's Dustin. Dustin, hopefully, can take both an axe hit and the ballista. We'll see. I might end up dying a couple times uh, just to to figure out what I can and can't get away with. Joe should be able to take a hit if need be. I'm just going to use... Yeah, I'm just going to heal there. And we're going to slowly make our way. Yeah, so you went for Gerald. That's fine. You went for Leon. That's fine. And you're dead. Let's go. Got a door key. Just to make sure that we can get in that door. Okay, they're coming there. Okay. So now... We can take out this ballista. Yes. This way. Viola also has the chance to, to strike. So we could kill a ballista before it can kill us. Uh, potentially. I'm going to heal you. Okay, we're good there. Uh, all right, so Flynn can only really hit with Tornado. What is, what's the sort of range on, on this guy? Uh, I could actually, if I have a heal option. Okay, so if I have a heal option, I could, I don't think I, w well, no, no, this is a distant heal. You have distant heal. So if I, like, literally move into this... Yeah, I could do that. Yes. We do it this way. So we can get chip damage there. We will move... Thea up a little bit. And just distant heal Flynn. Perfect. Okay, okay. Things are going great. We're gonna use this Cure Leaf. Perfect. Okay, they're coming closer. 
Part of me almost wants to just double up on one guy. Oh, seven. Seven damage. That's literally like nothing. 1632. Or 38. That's like 20. I just need to do math. I just need to do math. Uh, 16, 14. Oh, only a 66% chance to hit, though. So we have to use Clarent for sure. Okay, okay. Uh, but then we take 10. Yeah, no, we should be fine. The Sword Master, Swordmasters are actually not doing that much damage. Which is generally, I mean, Swordmasters are some of the scariest uh, enemies in, like, Fire Emblem games and whatnot. But in this... At least with my with my current setup, they're not as scary. I better hit both of these. It is asking a lot for an 87% chance to hit, but I did do it. All right, so this Swordmaster is going to attack Dustin, which is perfectly fine. Linda can make her way up. And we are making great progress here. Missed the Ballista. There we go. We don't even have to, we don't even have to use Flynn's turn to hit the Oh yes we do. Well actually no, I'm gonna use the ballista. Perfect. Oh, I think I missed an attack there. Uh I have more ammo, I think, on the ballista than I do tornado. So I'm going to ballista the ballista. Perfect. And then I could probably be out of ballista form until I'm ready to attack the left side. Um, Flynn, yeah, you're gonna get, get a little closer. Oh, gosh. They are coming more out of the, the side there. Hmm, do I want to use that? I don't think it's worth it. I think we save Tornado. Then I think we... Can we, can we attack with, like, Jode or something? Ugh. Oh, no, you have, like, way more health than I... Than I, I forgot about that. Alright, so we will... What is Longspear you? Stay with Dustin's strats. Got the strike, hit both. Let's go. All right. Uh, staying there is fine. Yeah. All right. I get attacked by both Swordmasters in that case, but I do think that's fine. Uh, they can move up and distant heal, Dustin. Perfect. Uh, I do think that it might be a little bit premature, but I might go open that door. Am I going to regret that? Maybe? Only one way to find out? I'm going to move back to see if they just sort of start coming out or if they wait to be aggro before they start moving towards me. Move a little bit closer. And then, and then Linda will be able to join in some attacks uh, next part as well. Okay, so they're moving away from the left. I wonder if they'll also come the whole way over here to try and get me. Yeah, they do not do much damage to Dustin, at least. I miss all my attacks? Why? That's so sad. Okay, okay. Okay, you're on two. Gerald. Come on. You got the 62% chance to hit. You can do it. I believe in you. Oh my gosh, it actually did it. Good job, Gerald. I knew you could do it. Uh, Yeah, we'll go ahead and just do this. We can him up a little bit. I'm not worried about taking four damage at a time. Then we'll move out of the way. And then we'll give Linda some time to... Well, I was going to say to shine, but... Don't really look like he's shining all that much. Alright, that's fine. You get to get involved. Uh, I don't think I kill in one hit. Alright, in the, in the interest of not taking more damage than necessary, let's see what Flynn can do with, like, not tornado magic. He does have something else, right? Yeah, he's got wind and lightning. Cavalier, paladin, ranger, enchanter... And that's more for dragon tamers. But it does do more damage in general. So, yeah. We can soften him up with a wind. Very cool. And then we can get the finishing blow with Leon. There we go. Uh, Move up a little bit. 
Okay, none of them are going to attack until I reach this entrance, it looks like. I'm going to go this way. I'm going to dismount. I don't need to keep using up Ballista when it's not necessary. Uh, Joseph can't quite reach uh, that middle part there unless... We dance. I'm just assuming that, that Joseph can sort of deal with uh, taking these hits. Probably not going to kill back. And they're both using rusty axes. Yeah, there's no way. So Joseph goes here. And then whatever damage he takes, he'll play out the beginning of the next turn. Yeah. Even if I do somehow kill two... Uh, two uh, hits of 16 aren't going to kill me. Very cool. We're healed to full. Uh, I actually might just do something like... Uh, we'll attack with the Bow of Light. There we go. I knew that I w I'd be able to get away with that. Man, I, I feel like I'd take somebody... I mean, it, it's a risk, but it's not really. I was like, I could have left that, that guy on one. Uh, but then I can kind of do a similar thing where I just let Joseph... Again, just like draw the aggro of the next the next guy. So we'll just wait there. And not really going to do anything else. I'll, I'll dance just for the experience. Uh, I'll move Linda here. Anybody really need to heal? I mean, yes and no. I'm going to use your cure, cure leaf. Probably a little premature, but like I feel like we have so many extra cure leaves, and I don't want to save them all and just like never use them. And we'll just end it there. Very, very simple, straightforward. Yeah, go with that firestorm. We didn't even get hit, so very simple. So those ones are coming over, but they're just the the sword masters. Uh, they really should not be that big of a deal. And they stopped respawning over here, so I think that's all the reinforcements that are coming. I think it's just two waves of reinforcements, uh, which is cool. I'll let Flynn show off some more of his magic, because he can. Uh, show off lightning magic. What does lightning magic look like? As expected, it looks really cool. Lightning is probably like, one of my favorite elements in video games, for those that don't know. And I always just love how visually uh, cool lightning uh, and stuff looks all right can i oh yeah we could longbow yeah let's do that actually i was gonna say i want this uh recruit to die but i also want joseph to be the one to draw the aggro uh up here can i kill not quite although i can probably let's just do light let's not use up all of our firestorms even though I think I bought uh, an extra Firestorm, I don't think I bought an extra Light. I also missed one. But I'm pretty sure I could just use Thea to dance. And we can just use another Longbow attack. Boom. Right there. That's the Recruit dead. And then we get to repeat Joseph Strats. Yes. That is exactly how I had figured out in my mind move Linda in here we will I'm gonna keep Dustin out at the back side to be able to uh, deal with the, the recruits coming in oh we can't be mounted on horses and go inside right I forgot about that um all right then you just you kind of just stay at the rear right now I almost have like one single file line which is incredible. Alright, we hit both of those. Go us. They're going to take a while to get there. We can probably afford... Well, what if I just, like, start sending out a team to just go over there? There's not that much here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What if we do something like... I shall you attack in here. Man, that, that low hit chance is really just going to mess with me. Hopefully, either Jero can get better, or we can find a, a way to do better with axes. Uh, Linda, you go for it. Uh, just weaken him up a little bit. Okay. 
No, no skill procs. It's okay. I'm not sad about it. Why are you asking? Bubble light. Mm, fine, I'll use a swift bow. Easy crit. And we can go again. Wow, this game is too kind. Uh, how do we want to do this? Let us. All right, I can attack the longbow literally from here. No, no skill procs. Very sad. All right, this guy's now awake and will attack me unless unless i dance <laughs> and do it again i'm probably using up all of my chances of longbow for when i'm really gonna need it but at the same time it works so well Ooh, we got a door key on stuff i am going to have to i'll drop the ch s key for now Oh, wait, don't other people have a door key on them? Uh, I don't want to risk... Mm. Yeah, yeah. Hold on, I really hope... I I'm sure there's a way to access the, the convoy. Anyway. If you have a chess key... Linda has a door key. I'm not crazy. And Leon has a door key. A lot of door keys, actually. Leon just has all the keys. Okay. Leon has the, has the keys to the kingdom, uh, apparently. Yeah, I'm going to start sending out this group here. Okay, so directly to the left of that little hole thingy. So I can actually just put you right here. And wait. And uh, I do think I could send Joseph here and just sort of 1v1 this guy. I'll even let you firestorm. I don't think I don't think this guy can wake up and get down to to viola I'm actually not sure though but I'm just gonna sort of block I don't even know if that blocks any of the walking path but that's okay I've already sort of committed we'll just do it this way probably could have looked at what his uh ranges and yeah you can still actually get to to viola it's it's okay it's just one hit I'm sure I'm sure she'll be fine I will right, we'll send Leon back out this way and we will send Flynn uh, back out this way. A little bit closer. There we go. I right, went after Joseph anyway. That was what I wanted to have happen. D -d Does Joseph have the lowest defense? I don't know if uh, enemies are attracted to like, you know, attacking whoever has the lowest defense or, or what. I'm not sure how it's how it's done in this game, but uh, if that is the case, then that's pretty pretty nice. Uh, should we use? I think we have Leon get the finishing blow. Here, we can take 10 damage. We can take 10 damage. That's fine. Uh, You're fine to just stay there. You, let's see, 17 versus 13. We'll do 17 damage. Okay, no crits, no crits. And then we'll see if Dustin can kill. That's 38. That's 44. That is enough. And we strike. And we crit. Okay, sure. <laughs> Go off, King. Um. Alright, who wants to get the final blow here? Do I still have that that throwing axe? Go for it. With your 58% chance to hit. You gotta hit some of the times. You would think. Uh, Linda doesn't have a range thing. Yola is level 12. Joseph is level 10. And does have one lower defense, so I, I do wonder if, uh, the enemies are, are more likely to be aggroed to, uh, units with lower, uh, defense. Um, after I take out these ones on the side, then we'll have a nice little stopping point right here, where we, uh, can say- Ooh, wait, you're alive? Hello? Who said that you were allowed to do that? Oh, Linda can also come up here. Alright, so... Oh, you're level 9. Yeah, let's... Let's get you a kill here. Since Joseph needs some glasses, apparently. Uh, you should be able to heal... 
Yeah, heal window. He definitely needs that health. And we kind of get ready to deal with these up here. All right. Uh, so we'll just do. Yeah, we'll just we'll just do something like this. We'll use some wind. Why not? I don't need to use all my lightning. Uh, then we. I think I'd rather have Dustin take the extra hit. I was like, if I use Mithril, even without any ability procs, there we go. Then, then he's down to to ten to ten uh, health. I kill with the Clarent, and then I I don't even think that Flynn can take a an attack here. Mm, oh no, he can go around. Okay, so Flynn is probably the one that's going to be taking the hit, but hopefully he'll live. I'm sure he will. Uh. I mean, I'm just gonna end this turn here. Uh, 15 damage, yeah. It's fine, it's fine! Uh, what level is Flint? Level 7. Yeah, go ahead and get some more experience here. I, I, I want to be paying more attention to the levels just to make sure that somebody isn't ending up like super overleveled or whatever. We will... Just use our normal long spear, and that will kill. All right, these sword masters are completely dealt with. We don't need to worry about them anymore. And now we can just sort of regroup everybody. I don't want to. I don't want to move forward uh, until they're at least back inside the building. So, all right, this has been a pretty smooth sailing chapter so far. I I still really like the the strategy aspects. Um, of this game. Oh, there we can go in. Nice, nice. Like, I don't know. I just feel like I'm very carefully planning, like, each move. Um, you know. Like, nothing, nothing's too hard. But one wrong move and you just never know. So, I'm still, I'm still having a good time here. I wonder if there's, like, something internally where, like, you get, like, a higher chance to go again if you're basically not doing anything other than you know rest you know moving and resting or whatever dismount all right we didn't get to have a second move there all right then we'll wait for the next turn uh we should actually probably start doing some healing so they are you heal there anybody else need health back gerald could use like a tiny bit sure Normal heal right there. And then everybody should basically be at full. How are we looking down here? Mm, Flynn, Flynn needs health and Leon could be topped up here. So yeah, we'll have we'll have Leon come in here. I think Pivot goes around uh, a different person. So then let's, let's have Dustin move up here. So that way Flynn can come up here. So that way I can heal him like that. Perfect. And then Joseph can actually come down to, to do a heal here. Perfect. And we should be pretty set. Going to just move everybody up here. And then I'm going to go ahead and, and end it off uh, by, by saving up this little checkpoint. And that is where we will pick up on the next time. So let me go ahead and just like move everybody just a little bit closer. Got litter right outside here. We'll just do something like that. And then we're gonna go ahead and save it here. So uh, that has been the start of chapter three. It is looking pretty promising. I think that we're gonna have a similarly easy time on the left side. I'm just gonna have to worry about the ballistas um, but then coming in from the backside, a lot of them are sleeping. So if I can just sort of pile on a bunch of damage onto, uh, one unit at a time, then we should be fine. And, uh, I think that'll be fine. And then I don't know how strong the boss and the units around the boss are. That is probably gonna be the hardest part of the chapter. We shall see. There's also a, a chest room off to the, to the right. I actually just noticed that. Um, so I'll also have to do that before I 
uh, continue pushing forward. But we'll do that on the next time. Hopefully, you're looking forward to it. If so, let me know, and I'll see you on the next time. So, till then, peace out.